In today's video, we'll be discussing Frederick Soreo's dream of a world made up of democratic and social republics. Let's take a look at the topics that we'll be discussing in today's video. How does Frederick Soreo describe his dream in his prints? What was Soreo's utopian vision? What were absolutist institutions? How did these prints depict the picture of the world? For centuries, many countries, specifically in Europe, had been under a monarch rule where the monarchy did not consider other people as equals. These people had no rights of their own. They were made to pay very, very high taxes and had to also do free labor for the lords. Many people dreamed of a different world. One of these people was Frederick Sorio, who was a French artist. In 1858, he prepared a series of four prints visualizing his dream of a world made up of democratic and social republics, as he called them. We'll be discussing one of these prints in today's video. If you look at the image in the beginning, there is a white statue. This was the Statue of Liberty because the French revolutionists were very influenced by the American constitution. They also personified liberty as a female figure. If you look closely, the woman is holding the torch of enlightenment in one hand and the charter of the rights of man in the other hand. The next thing you'll notice is a trail of people holding flags. Men and women, both of all ages and social classes, marching and offering homage to the Statue of Liberty as they pass by it. If you see some people have already passed the statue, these were the people of the United States and Switzerland as they had already become nation states. The next flag which has just reached the statue is of France which is noticeable by the colors of red, white and blue. As by then they had also gained a new constitution and were not under the monarch rule anymore. They are followed by the peoples of Germany bearing the black, red and gold flag. Now by this time, the German people had not become a united nation. Following the German peoples are the peoples of Austria, the kingdom of the two Sicilies, Lombardy, Poland, England, Ireland, Hungary and Russia. If you see at the bottom of the earth, lie the shattered remains of the symbols of absolutist institutions. What were absolutist institutions? It refers to a form of monarchical government that was centralized, militarized and repressive. And on the top in the sky, you can see Christ, saints and angels gaze upon the sea. Soreo has included the gods to showcase a fraternity among the nations of the world. If you notice the image, there is a difference in their clothing as well. This was due to the utopian vision of Soreo where he thought that the peoples of the world are grouped as distinct nations and are identified through their flags and national costume. This was all about Soreo's dream of a world made up of democratic and social republics and how he portrayed it in his prints. Let's take a look at the topics that we have discussed today. In 1858, Frederick Soreo prepared a series of four prints visualizing his dream of a world made up of democratic and social republics. The image had a trail of people which included men and women paying homage to the Statue of Liberty, which was a figure of liberty for French revolutionists. It also included the shattered remains of the symbols of absolutist institutions on the ground and the gods looking upon the scene from the sky. The people carrying the flags and wearing their national dresses was due to the utopian vision of Soreo as he believed people of different nations were identified by their national flags and costumes. That's all in today's video. Thank you for watching.